Okay, children, we are live, and tonight we are playing a horror game for spooky season called Devotion. Devotion is a horror game made by a game studio in Taiwan. You can no longer get it on Steam because, well, let's just say the game contains references to Winnie the Pooh which some people found in poor taste. If you know, you know. Um, did I, I did start a new game, didn't I? Yes. So I watched my girlfriend play this game last week, and I am very excited to play it myself because it looks like everything that I kind of like in a game My voice is pitched. Oh God. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is the webcam audio, so it probably sounds normal, but it's going to sound like echoey, roomy. Um, is this less Elizabeth Holmes? Unplug and replug the mic. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. I hate technology. I literally have the worst look with this kind of stuff. What do you mean unplug and replug the mic? Like, it's the 21st century. How can we not make microphone technology that work? Because the audio is now tin can because I switched it to the webcam. Well, let me try switching it back. One, one second, one second. Okay, testing now. Is it still Demon? Is it still Elizabeth Holmes? How, how are we sounding? Is it sound normal? Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thing. Okay, it's good. Okay, it's perfect. Okay, I'm loving it. We did it. This was a journey, but we made it. Let's go. I feel like this game is like everything that I like in games you know it's a little bit gone home it's a little bit layers of fear it's a little bit liminal it's a little bit terrifying it's kind of a liminal experience that also makes me feel like i maybe will pee myself and that's kind of what i'm looking for in a game okay i definitely did not start a new game <laughs> this is definitely the same file that my girlfriend was playing uh, new game. Okay. I'm an extremely professional gamer, and this is now a competitive speed play. Sorry, speed run. Gaming. You know, that thing that I'm famously good at. <laughs> I've just spilled wine on my phone. Hold on. <laughs> okay, the speed run, speed run hasn't started until I clean the wine off my phone. Okay, please watch the English subtitles unless you speak Chinese. In which case, do whatever you want. <laughs> Speed play. Okay, guys, pay attention. Don't make fun of- we're not, paying we're not making fun of me tonight, okay? Instead, we're paying attention to the plot of the game that's happening in front of us, okay? Okay, we're stuck inside the head of a shitty father, as usual, as usual. Why are so many games about being a bad father and being trapped inside the head of a bad father? I feel like gaming is just one giant conspiracy to make the world sympathize with bad fathers. I feel like media in general is that. Like The Simpsons, The Shining, the famously sympathetic character of J Jack Torrance.
Okay, hold on. I can't I can't move by the way. I'm like stuck watching this uh weather forecast. I'm gonna tr drink wine because this is a good wine opportunity. Oh, we're sharpening knives. His hands are not as rugged as Ethan's. <laughs> I miss Ethan's rugged hands. Who do you think this guy's alpha is? Because we know that Ethan's alpha is Chris. But who's Feng Yu's alpha? That's the real question. We might just be about to find out. Okay. Okay, so we've been watching TV all night. It's staticky and creepy because it's the 80s. I feel like it's very, uh, you know, poltergeist. We all we all just collectively collectively decided in the 80s and the 90s that a staticky TV late at night is the scariest thing there is. And it, and it's, it is pretty scary. Okay. I'm not scared at all. Okay, here we go. Now there's no note spoilers. Uh... Mation's Doodles, a drawing done by Mation. That's very good. Okay, we can't we can't rotate it. Uh, okay, not at all ominous. Ooh, oh, God, isn't that just aspirational lighting? Don't you just want that? Like, <laughs> I feel that a problem with a lot of houses is there's just simply too much light in them. But these people know what's up. You want to have one dim yellow light that preferably makes some kind of humming noise and then you want to have a dim red light that casts a sort of eerie slash erotic kind of glow around your front door and then you want to have one tv that's on to static all the time and a fish tank with a single red fish this is really ideal interior decorating oh a red arowana a pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity Thank you for explaining this to my Western mind, whoever wrote the subtitles. You're very, very kind. Um, okay, so we're in a, do we have a, do we, do we have a date here? Does someone read Chinese? Okay, it's the 7th, uh, Wednesday, October 7th, 1987. Okay. A very liminal year, a very liminal year. I have no choice but to support it. Um, Okay, let's, we're in the kitchen, it's raining, can we make some kind of bad, bad father bachelor snack? I mean, as a man in a video game, I assume that he doesn't know how to cook. Um, okay, let's like s drunkenly stagger out into the hallway. I feel like the staggering is very layers of fear. It's very like, I'm trapped inside the head of Jack Torrance. I am probably going to pick up an axe and murder my family. Okay. This is a good hallway. Very liminal. Uh, if we... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey guys, I know this is Halloween, but let's all try to just stay focused and... Okay, it's P. We're playing PT. Do you guys remember PT? A lot of horror games are influenced by PT, which was that like horror trailer for a Silent Hill game, and then the game never got made. And it was like, co directed by Guillermo del Toro. Thanks, Naivo. Thank you so much. Goth Gamer Nation shout out. I endorse this message. Okay, oh, there's the family portrait. Machin, Li Fong, and I. Okay, maybe get a bigger frame next time and you wouldn't have to cut the painting. I... Oh. It's mold. It's liminal. Okay, we're still October 7, 1987. Earlier that same day, slash after he changed the light bulb in his bachelor apartment. I mean, this game is basically PT. They basically did make PT. Like, so many games have tried to make PT. I feel like 
based on watching my girlfriend's playthrough that this game basically succeeds though where like all other attempts to make pt have kind of come up short um because this game has like an actual thing to say was the sense that i got okay we're counting the days did people used to do that like back in the physical calendar days if anybody's old enough that you had personally a physical calendar, sorry for making you feel old. It's fine. I've had, I, I'm old enough to remember my parents having physical calendars, but did you remember, like, did you cross off the days or, you know, did you just, I, oh Lord. Okay. It's raining inside. Okay, good, good. The door closed behind me. We're walking slowly to the floating umbrella in the middle of the hallway, taking the Krabby Patty to Squidward. Okay, that is a red shoe. There's writing on the wall. Okay, it's a simple matter of red dripping on this light I didn't guys okay first jump scare i was scared i've successfully been afraid i've been afeared <laughs> it's so liminal though i can't be mad like i think like, i'm looking forward to being jump scared because of how liminal it is 1980, Year of the Monkey. Okay. Should we go? Or should we try to go back? This guy walks really slow. I assume because he's, he's like Jack Torrance at the end of The Shining. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those like domestic horror situations where it's like, wow, the protagonist is a terrible father. Isn't that scary? And I guess it is kind of scary. Thanks, Alex. The best food to philosophize with? Uh, I don't really associate food with philosophizing because it's hard to philosophize when your mouth is full. I would say a, um, a candy cigarette or possibly a Tootsie Roll because you can kind of contemplatively suck, <laughs> suck at it and then pop it out to make a salient point. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay, you're the monkey. Yes, yes, we know. Oh, it's now it's... Okay, I'm sorry. We just leave the key. I'm a dummy. Wait, where's our key? Where's... What did I do? We had the key a second ago. Why don't we have the key anymore? Am I stupid? Okay, we don't want Mason doodles. We want... Oh. I just don't know how to use buttons. Oh my god, H Bomber guy. Hey, how are you? Contemplatively sucking. We all we all contemplatively We all like to contemplatively suck. We're all contemplative suckers here. There's no <laughs> favorite drink to philosophize with? Ooh. You're welcome. But of Li Fang and her glory days, signatures of the film crew adorn the picture. Wow. Wait, hold on, what did it say? If I hang these idle... If I hang these idle portraits... Wait. It's very fussy with... Hold on. If I hang these idle... <laughs> I think she'll be pretty happy about it. Okay, got it. A lonely soul, weaving your nest in a make-believe home. God, that is me. <laughs> Please, the voice on the radio. I'll do anything you say. Just make me feel like I belong. Okay, let's... Um, okay, we got Li Fang's portrait. Display cabinet. Oh, should we put the portrait in the display cabinet? Yes. Oh, no. Just kidding. Oh, we're doing a little construction. Li Fang is serving. Li Fang is always serving. Um, okay. 
let's see. Oh, mirror, mirrors. If only the, mirrors in video games. If only if only there was a some kind of YouTube video essayist who who would make a video to explain mirrors in video games. If only, if, if only there was a video essayist in the chat who could, who had a thought about mirrored services in video games. That would be so helpful. Okay. Um, oh my God, it's absolutely Chinese Dr. Glenn. That's 100% what it is. Uh, okay. I used to have an apartment in Chicago that had a kitchen that, okay, the kitchen had a fridge, but it had a door like right here. And that door led out into this, back alley that was a very scary back alley and the kitchen also sucked like in much the same way that this kitchen sucks i'm just saying like this really reminds me of the way i used to live okay we cannot dry li feng's portrait in the dish rack um okay let's see ah trophies Baodao Artistry Prize Best Screenplay Award. Another trophy to add to my proud collection. Oh god, am I stuck inside the head of an asshole? Why does this always happen? Video games have a weird fixation on like, what if I was an asshole? Like, like, is this, I feel like that is like the ultimate male wish fulfillment f fantasy. It's like, what if I got to be a huge asshole, but I'm the protagonist, so it's fine. Like, okay, let's, let's, uh. Let's um, contemplatively place the dishes on the dish rack where they belong. Oh, okay. We have a fridge now. I think this is called time travel. Thanks, Reno. I have not heard of the Love Trilogy by Bill Hooks. I mean, I know that Bill Hooks has written books about, about love. I should really read those. You're right. Good suggestion. Thanks, April. You're... Thank you so much. I do my best to deliver what the people want. Um, okay, so let's let's. This is this is a time travel game, so we should really be checking. Okay, there still is no calendar. A craft paper envelope delivered to yours truly. Ah, okay, script. See, here's the here's the gone home element. Because in Gone Home, well, in Gone Home, the dad was a, a novelist who writes the conspiracy books about JFK. In this game, you are the dad. <laughs> and you're, you're a screenwriter. It's kind of, um. I mean, I always wish, this game had kind of Gone Home, but with jump scares. Which is what I always wanted, because my one criticism of Gone Home is not enough jump scares. Like, not enough terror. Like, I really think that, um, I really do think that, like, Dyke Mansions 3D could have been brought to the next level if, like, you walked into the, if you do go into the basement and, like, your homophobic grandfather pops out of the floorboards and grabs your leg and you have to, like, stab him in the throat with a kitchen knife. Like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like that to me is what Gone Home was, was missing is that element of, like, stabbing your homophobic grandfather in the throat. Otherwise, it's a perfect game. Okay. Um, screenwriter Du Feng Yu, episode one, scene one, living hall, daytime, interior. I definitely do not write scripts based on my life. Close up, the husband carries a potted plant over to the window and places it on the sill. Husband, smiling. People say that tulips symbolize elegance and sweetness, just like our child. Wife, like you know, our child hasn't even been born yet. All right, let's finish organizing and get dinner ready. The flower isn't blooming anytime soon, so let's eat. Soup's getting cold. Close up. The couple arrange their new home together. They hang her paintings on the empty wall set his medals on the cabinet, and place their china on the shelves. With a human touch, the empty abode begins to feel more like home. After adjusting some furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. Okay. That's a... Oof. Okay, which, guys, which way? Which way, western man? Well, I guess not western man. We're in, we're in Taipei. Which way, Eastern man? <laughs> Down the PT hallway or into the dark room of, of doom? I'll let you guys decide. No, someone should make some kind of hybrid of like Gone Home and like Resident Evil. Don't you think that would be, don't you think that would be a sleigh? I think, I think it would be. 
I'm wait. I'm waiting for the. Okay, the chat is now coming in. I'm seeing. I'm seeing a mix. I'm seeing a mix of responses, but I feel like most of them are saying go into the dark room. Okay, we're going into the dark. Nothing could possibly go wrong. I just turned up the audio so I can get jump scared more severely. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, the tulip room, because tulips symbolize, really symbolize our daughter, sweetness, beauty. Okay, ah, very good yellow. Loving the yellowness of the light. And an empty bedroom. That's not even finished. They're not even done wallpapering. Or are they taking down the wallpaper? Oh, that's the kitchen. It is, oh. I, I guarantee you there really are apartments in this world that have a window from the bedroom into the kitchen. And guess what, sweetie? We're in one of them. Oh, we gotta play Edith Finch. I haven't ever played that. I have it on my computer. Okay, let's hang. <sighs> hang the Li Fang portrait. And now there's lots of Li Fang portraits. Okay. Li Fang's posters and record titles from her heyday after our marriage, she stopped getting her portraits done. Wow. I'm a really disappointing husband. <laughs> I take everything from my wife. Okay, let's... Ooh, record player. Um, ah, isn't that pretty? Look at that sunlight on the lens of our character's eye camera. What is this thing? Two swans... Vanity again. Each bomber guy, please comment on on what is going on with these mirrors. We have no reflection. We never have a reflection. No one ever says except like Portal. Portal has. Ugh. I don't want to be trapped inside the mind of. Thank you. This is not a good mind to be trapped inside of. Hmm, what's cooking? Li Fang usually readies dinner for us. That's very gender. Okay. Mirrors. I feel like I'm taking a little too long to do this. I'm going to try to pick up the pace here. Okay, can't use that door. What are we missing here? Any thoughts? We just wander deeper into the darkness. I'm going to turn on the table lamp, but I can't. It's so gender. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, I think I will. Um, I think I'll try to stream more. I can't run, by the way. I don't seem none of the usual crouch buttons are are causing me to crouch. So, did you hear something? Wait, I have that trophy. Okay, we should put the trophy somewhere. But where? Uh, do you see the spot for a trophy? I don't. Hello. My name is Chinese Dr. Glenn. That's the spot for a trophy. No, not that. Okay. The Bao Dao Artistry Prize. Ooh. All the trophies. Okay. Okay, best screenwriter trophies. Wow. What a great screenwriter. Look how many trophies he has. And that's really the mark of a good screenwriter, isn't it? Lots of trophies. Okay, we've got two. Got me. Got me good. Uh, okay. Guys, it's very dark. Hello. This is Chinese Dr. Glenn. I wish there was Dr. Glenn here. That would make this a... Guys. Guys, we have some kind of... We got... We have a... It's time for wine.
it's some kind of flickering light. That old, unreliable electricity. Every time things get scary, you can always rely on the electricity to get unreliable. Okay. Alternating. Ooh. It's a simple ballerina. A ballerina. It's the old ballerina in the fuse box. Classic. <laughs> Decorative doll made of icing. Okay. So. So there's cakes. There's mold. Did that turn the TV on? Uh, should I go find out? Do I want to find out? I don't know if I... Oh. <laughs> I, I like that. That's nice. Uh, uh. Oh god. This is a mushroom trip. Alright, let's... Oh, that's a good idea. Cigarettes. I could really go for a cigarette right now. I feel that would kind of take the edge off this whole situation. When I was watching my girlfriend play this game, I kept being like, don't use the lighter too much. You're going to run out of fuel. But I don't think you ever do run out of fuel. I was just being par <laughs> I was being a paranoid backseat gamer. Um, okay. But I'm, oh, I really have no light except this. Okay. Dear Feng Yu, this is the lighter you've always wanted. You must be exhausted from all that unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know that I'll support you always. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. Wow. I'm not sure that he deserves her, but we'll roll with it. We'll keep an open mind. We'll see if it pays off. Oh. It's Mei Shin. A little baby Mei Shin. Okay, there's a bird in here. It is 1980. The 8th. Okay, oh, you can use sound to find where you're supposed to go. The bird is in here. Oh, I don't know if I want to go out here, though. Do I? Okay, have I made... Too late. Okay, it's no big deal. We're just walking down a dimly lit hallway with only a lighter. It's writing on the wall. Why won't you open your eyes? Well... Because it's scary out there. <laughs> okay. Mm. Year of the Tiger, 1986. Uh, okay, 1986 key with the Tiger Charm. 1986, one of the most luminal years of the Tiger. It must be said. Okay, we've got a, a screenwriter flannel. And it is July 27. Okay, so six years later. Let's try to keep... I'm trying to keep track of the time travel in my head here. It's all very... Oh. Some, some mannequins. Guys, the mannequins are fine. They're not scary. They're here to keep us company. It's Mason's height. Thanks, Connor. No, I haven't. It sounds like I better read her. It's a good suggestion. Okay, well, this seems fine. That's just a normal family. Nothing to nothing to look at there. Okay, normal loving family. Screenwriter and wife, as God intended. <laughs> let's let's oh no not that. Let's take a look. Okay, school correspondence journal one. Uh Monday, February 24, 1996. Homework 
Chinese vocab, arithmetic practice, daily journal. Today I cleaned my room and daddy helped me put all my toys away. My room has a very big bed. I can play house on top of it. Teacher's comments. You should try cleaning your room yourself. Teacher. Shen Yijun, quiz scores, vocab 95, math 97, parent signature due. Okay, well, this kid is like obviously doing great in school. So that's good. Everything is going well. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Let's let me put the lighter away. We don't need it right now. Uh, what is making this sound? Is it daddy looking into the empty fish tank Glenn Glenn please talk to us okay let's go into the kitchen and let's okay whatever it's just mommy making dinner nothing strange about that but she's not making anything and the sink is a little a little red looking Okay, we've got a crock pot. Well, that's very like late 80s, right? Um, girl, that guy was definitely looking at the fish, or so, excuse me, the absence of a fish last time he was here. And now he's distinctively looking at us. Can these mannequins be trusted? <laughs> they absolutely cannot be trusted. Okay. You know, we're just going to very gently... You can... Are you holding a knife? She's holding a knife. Okay. We're going to... We're going to keep an eye on these mannequins. Because they clearly... Cannot be trusted. Just gently backing up. Okay, all the mannequins in one view. Okay, if we simply go in to this hallway, then, oh god, we've got to, I can't look everywhere at once, guys. Okay, if I just move really fast like this, then we're always <laughs> trying not to get nauseous. <laughs> okay, you know what, fuck it. If we get followed by mannequins, whatever. Metronome. TikTok. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, a metronome is like such a good symbol of like being disciplined as a child. I don't know. I, I was like a piano lesson kid. Uh, school correspondence. No, we got that. Let's let's maybe put the ballerina in the chair. Okay, no. Do we have anything we can put in the chair? No. Mannequins still doing good. We just slowly move around here. Mannequins it's still chilling. Okay, walking this way. Turn around. Okay, good. Walking this way. Turn around. Okay, great. Okay, tulip door locked. Still not being followed. Still not being followed. And bedroom. <gasps> oh. Okay. Well. He's just taking a Polaroid picture of his family. That's totally normal and fine. I remember once owning a Polaroid camera. I lost it one day, so I bought a single lens camera. Okay. God damn it. Guys, we have single we have naked singles in our area. Okay. Okay, at least we've got mods now, so we can get rid of the naked singles. Thank you, mods. You're on top of this. Um, okay. Uh, well? Is this our daughter? Do we have an actual daughter, or is this a doll used when playing house? Perfect, I love to play house. a lot of portraits 
I would feel weird sleeping in a bed that had this many portraits of myself in it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Seems a little much. Okay, we've already investigated the Polaroid. We've... Okay. Okay. Okay, we're just going to delicately walk back into the mannequin room. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure nothing could possibly cause us to be alarmed. It's fine. Okay, let's um let's maybe time travel to a different year and then see where that takes us. Uh oh I can't leave. I can't leave. Okay, any suggestions, any thoughts? If I could just use that knife, then maybe. Okay, we have okay, we have a ball so look. We have Oh, a ceramic doll. Okay, a doll used for playing out, it's got it. So the doll goes in the chair. I understand now. Sorry, I need to drink wine. Okay, doll and chair. Oh, there's the piano. I'm telling you. It's one step from the metronome to the piano. Okay, what's that sound? Ooh, crayons. Besides singing, Machen also loves doodling. Okay. Who doesn't? <laughs> Let's uh, okay, Mission is Mation a doll or is Mation a human girl? Birthday grab. Uh, the birthday grab is a ceremony performed for a baby who's reached one year of age. In ancient times, the chances of a baby dying young were high. It was rare to reach the age of one, so it was a cause for celebration. Therefore, in the present times, to honor the ancestors and anticipate a safe and healthy future for the baby, this ceremony has become an important custom. People believe that placing various items in front of the baby and seeing what it grabs can predict what type of career the baby will have in the future. Commonly used items include a pen, ink, paper, enamel, an abacus, garden tools, seals, etc. Other items include homophonic objects that correspond to careers or traits. Garlic sounds like calculate in Chinese and can represent an accounting career. Onion sounds like smart and can represent an intellectual career. This is a very good explanation. <laughs> I have to say, um, the direction of a child's development is of great significance to parents, especially in modern times. Parents expect a lot from a child's early education, and it is wise to cultivate the child's interests and expertise from a young age to, to develop a head start in his or her career. This honestly is pretty similar to the, like, <laughs> it's pretty similar to the way that I was raised, like, from the time I was like an early child, it was very like, oh, which kind of genius will you be? You have to be some kind of genius. Choose which kind of genius you are going to be. You know what I mean? Like that kind of like high pressure environment. Uh, okay, we need sheet music. For the piano. Jump scared by daddy once again. Oh, and mommy. Oh, a rare, a rare unlocked bathroom moment. <laughs> Happy birthday. Sheet music. You ink? Mirrors and video games. There's a lot of mirrors in this game. And not a single reflection. Is that a pot leaf? 
Okay. That is a dope bathtub. Like, I really am loving this, like, mosaic. Don't you guys think that's a dope bathtub? I would take a bath in that. Okay. Um, okay, so we could do the obvious. We could go back and put the music on the piano. Or... We could... Okay, that's locked. This is 100% a game about gifted child syndrome. Okay. Mission? It's your birthday. Time to play the piano. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, look. pretty good okay okay so we did the we did the birthday song we don't we know about the crayons what does my yen have here happy birth it looks like a, a it looks like a stove I don't know what that is I've never seen that kind of toy it's a toy like it's a toy stove top with like a fried egg and toy kitchen stuff. Okay. Ah, and the mannequins are gone. Oh, it's a birthday party. A very dark birthday party. Let's uh let me see if we, ah we can light this up. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of photos of Mei Yin. Sorry, Mei Shin. Um These are kind of weird. Honestly, I'm not sure I like these photos. I don't like that one. I don't like... They seem kind of candid and... Mm. Something off about them. Like, who takes photos of their kid in these weird... You know? Like, they're so, like... It's like partialism. I'm uncomfortable with partialism. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. The most liminal place I've been. Literally any Hyatt in the middle of the night. Um, okay, kitchen. Crockpot. Sink. Literally, it's my kitchen in Chicago. That that green fridge. Um, okay. The, uh, the, yes, the, the gilt wall. A classic. Oh, the Lucas party and Biohazard. Biohazard is abs a, that is a traumatizing gaming experience. We do, do you guys remember that? Do you remember when we went through that together? We learned a lot about heterosexual values. Oh. Okay, I'm locked in here. Okay, items. Ballerina doll. Okay, ballerina. There's a cake. Sorry. I'm a little slow, but I do get there. Okay. Beautiful. Get ready. Okay. A famous superstar just like oh, looks good. Uh, this game, this game pops. Like I don't know, I like my games to pop, and this game really, this game has it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shh. Okay, you just bang the TV like a Neanderthal.
No, the rainbow star stage. Ugh. Good, like, VHS distortion on that brass section. I can't move, by the way. Thanks, Queerly. <laughs> I'm reporting this to Liberal. I'm absolutely reporting some of the... I'm absolutely reporting a lot of this to Liberals. Okay, guys, someone's trying to break in or break out. And I don't know which, but I don't care for it. Should I play happy birthday again just to distract myself? No, it's not an option. Okay. Mission is still got a happy birthday thing. Okay, crayons. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know I'm being too... Okay, yes, Mation loves doodling. We know that. This game, you know, it looks absolutely gorgeous. The banging is v deeply upsetting. I know, we're all very upset. Okay, we're just gonna have to hang on until I find out where it's coming from because none of us are happy about this. We're all on edge. We're all anxious. There's no need to comment about it. None of us are doing well right now. None of us are taking this with with grace or dignity. We are all on the verge of peeing ourselves. So let's just try to calm down. And it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I feel like it's coming from outside. And I feel like I've always kind of known all along that it was coming from outside. Because clearly I can hear that's where the sound is coming from. But I just wanted to check literally every other place. Because who wants to face the fact, who wants to walk past their own screenwriter plaid to deal with... Okay. We're going to gently venture forth into this hallway. Gently. We're going gentle into that good night. There are children chanting. We're not gonna get too worried about it. I'm sure that it's fine. I'm sure it's all fine. Children ch chant all the time. Perfectly healthy and normal. Part of development, script, birthday, narration. And so today they celebrate their child's birthday as candles light the cozy room. The joy of family and peaceful celebration. Husband, my sweet child, what gifts would you prefer? Father will grant you anything. Child, I am a grateful father, mother, but I do not wish for a gift. I just want our family to be mirthful and content. Narration, for the child, such an ordinary moment would be especially cherished. If you'd like to know why, we must talk about that strange illness. Melancholia, depression, neurosis, hysteria. Okay, I think that's a shoe. What was I just saying about partialism? Daddy, baby, baby, daddy, daddy, baby, mommy, sorry, mommy. We're going to go gentle into that good night. Ooh, green. We haven't had green lighting before. I've got to say, I'm into it. Okay. Okay. New key. Year of the Ox, 1985. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Kids, let's do this. No, sorry. I'm bad at pushing buttons. Thanks, Emerald. Yeah, I think a lot of my sense of humor definitely comes from Sunny, so probably a lot of this is not even conscious. It's just, you know what I mean? like. There's a certain type of joke that kind of gets into your head 
because of the whatever comedy that you watch and then you unconsciously like sort of re reiterate that style of joke even if you change the details i know and I, I have watched a lot of sunny in my life so i'm sure you're right that that's an influence on my sense of humor okay the trophy cabinet let's do some reading Notice of injury or illness to the parents, greetings. Third year student, Du Mei Shin, date 1145 AM, March 18, 1985. Cause difficulty breathing, sent to school, clinic, actions taken, emergency transportation to hospital. Message to parents, further medical testing is advised as early as possible after re receiving this notice and seeking further medical attention. Have the doctor fill out the reply form with the treatment provided. Return the reply slips to the school medical clinic so that we may continue to provide the student with medical care. Okay. Mission is sick. Well. I mean, we knew this was going to get fucked up, right? Does this look like a game that's not going to get fucked up? Another good screenwriting shirt. Some good screenwriting wallpaper. Uh, okay, the refrigerator seems to have been rotated 90 degrees. Excuse me? This is 100% my Chicago apartment. Oh, it's scary. You miss the giant baby from bio from sorry village. I wash hands before entering. Wait, before entering, isn't this the bathroom? Who washes their hands before entering a bathroom? Is that normal? Oh wait, no, this is the bathroom. Sorry, this is May. Okay, I see. I'm sorry, my brain is scrambled. This is Mason's room. That you had to wash hands before entering because she's sick. This is the bathroom. The one with the tulips, which are a delicate symbol of my shin. Uh, mirrors don't work in games. Got it. Okay, let's wash hands before entering. Out, out, damned spot. Lady Macbeth over here. Ugh, it's so good. This game is so good. I just feel like... Like, I can't even really be scared by this game. Because it's almost too good. You know, like, when you watch a horror movie that's really, really good, you're, all, you're like, smiling in the theater. You know what I mean? Because how scary it is like is overridden by like your aesthetic pleasure in how good the movie is that's how i feel when i'm playing this game like am i scared yes but like beyond being scared okay we wash our hands wait now we can enter i just appreciate what this game is dear lord Okay, children, it's time for child surgery. There's needles in this doll. It's time for wine. We've got a doll full of needles on our hands. Okay, lots of weird medical shit. This doll is crying. It's surrounded by the. This looks like an OR. All right, let's let's just let's just deal with it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I'm taking the needles out. It's not a big deal. I fixed it. Thanks, Billy. I have seen the addiction. Yeah, I watched that when I was working on The Hunger. Uh, 
yeah, opiates slash, no, philosophy, opiates, vampirism. It's like all of my interests in one video. <laughs> Sorry, in one movie. So yeah, I have watched it. It's a, I need to re, I should rewatch it, honestly. Diagnostic, diagnostic report, Dumation, medical record number 318. I'm just curious about numbers in this game. So I'm going to take a picture of this just so that I have the number because you never know. Gender, female, age, 10 years, department, th thoracic specialist. That means heart, right? Chest tightness, difficulty breathing. Medical order. Patient x-ray and blood work analysis, normal. No physical ailments observed. Recommend Xanax. I recommend Xanax. That's my personal recommendation for this situation, right? Like, let's use our heads. No physical ailments. Chest tightness, difficulty breathing. X-ray and blood work normal? It sounds like a Xanax situation to me. But, you know, that's why I'm not a doctor. Okay, X-ray film. We'll take that. My mom was a doctor. My mom did a hospice. So I feel like hospice has kind of affected my idea of what medicine is. But I feel like in a good way, because the hospice approach to medicine is very like, you know, you're going to die. <laughs> so. So why don't we do a little bit of morphine and a little bit of Xanax and just kind of ease you, you know, send you gentle into that good night. I honestly completely support hospice and I completely support that view of medicine. And that is absolutely what I want for myself. I do not want to rage against the dying of the light. Personally, I have not any kind of interest whatsoever in raging against the dying of the light. Script, protracted, for protracted illness. Scene four, child's room, night, interior, close up. I can see it in my head. Candles illuminate a bed and herbal tea remedy. Child, weekly. Father, when will we go down to the big city? Husband, we cannot do so under these troubling circumstances. Son, when your illness has passed, mother and I will take you anywhere you'd like. Child. Father, the needles are painful. This treatment is unbearable. The husband pulls the acupunctural needle out of his child. No more pain. No more pain. Father won't have you suffer any longer. Thanks, daddy. The child, tired from crying, drifts into sleep. Wife. How is this going to work? It's been such a long time. My heart aches. Husband, set your mind at ease. I've another way. <laughs> Take me down to the Paradise City. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Connor understands what I'm trying to say here. Okay. Um... Um, I want you to please take me home. Okay. A classic overhead projector situation. Substitute teachers in. Oh. Okay. We've got to simply arrange these things to make a complete skeleton. There we go. I love a thoracic puzzle. <laughs> okay, a chest x Okay, we're projecting a chest x-ray onto... Mission. Wait, did I do it right? I don't think I did it. What 
What does this mean? Where's the fucking phone? Do residents. Okay, we simply have to come upstairs. It's fine. Ooh. I hear that music. Okay, there's hospital drapes kind of in the way of going this way. acupuncture needles are removed okay guys if you want to get devotion go to red candle games you have to go to the website it's been pulled from steam because of fucking winnie the pooh so if you want the game you have to get it from their website um i did it it's just as easy as using steam so if you want to play it go to dev the, dev the devotion website i think it's, it's called red candle games and you can get it Ooh. I like this music. Am I crazy? Or does this kind of music remind you of like Delta Blues? Like it's a similar kind of like minor pentatonic tonality with the notes kind of bending in a way that feels very similar to blues. Like, this music feels deeply familiar to me, despite the fact that I don't really know very much about Chinese music. It's a simple glitter child with the ra okay the radio. That's where the music's coming from. Oh, the lighter is in the mirror. Okay, this is an interesting complexity, right? Because the lighter shows up in the mirror, but nothing else does. At least the character doesn't. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I have to run to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's take literally three minutes. To, li to listen to this music and watch this child. Guys, keep an eye on the child. Make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. I'll be right back.
Okay, you're back. I'm glad the agenda of yassifying children is going well. Okay, shiny happy kid. Yes, yes. Let's go upstairs because the lady on the phone told us to go upstairs. And we always do what the lady on the phone says. Okay, it's another glitter child. Another dysfunctional elevator. Another mystery cabinet. The staircase is blocked. Okay, let's follow the glitter children. Oh look, it's the thumbnail. <laughs> it's not, I, think, I think that's the thumbnail. I'm pretty sure this is the thumbnail of this video. We're there kids. Take it in. Take it all in. <laughs> let's go. Oh, I love the music so much. A lighter is so much. Okay, a lighter is not needed here. Okay, guys, it's chill. A lighter is not needed. I'm sure that means there's nothing scary, so we don't need a lighter. Thanks, AG. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's sit down. Why don't we all? Why don't we all just relax? We're gonna sit down. We're gonna watch TV. It's all just gonna be fine. Okay. I can't move. The Cradle of Superstars. Okay. But youth category. Oh no, it's Du Meixin. She's a tiny baby. Guys, it's a tiny baby. A tiny baby is competing in a singing competition. Oh, that's some good VHS distortion. Do you hear that? Do you hear that crunch? Listen to the crunch. The pillows are cute. <laughs> they are. I love those like circular pillows. Yeah. Glad we're on the same page. No, do machine. Okay, she's fine. I assume this went really well, and the family the family was happy forever afterwards. The lighter is not needed. TikTok. <laughs> it's one hundred percent a villain villain origin story. Okay, October ten eighty seven. Uh, Do machine is not doing well. Oh. Let's check it out. Oh god, it's Guan Yin. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We... Uh, guys, the water is rising very fast. Any, does anyone have any plans to make it? <laughs> uh, where is Machine? I don't know. We lost her. We lost her to the television. Harry, Harry, stop. Stop selling the television set to buy heroin. Like, am I wrong that this reminds me of Requiem for a Dream? I don't know why. Oh, there she goes. Machine ran down the hallway. Harry, Harry, stop pointing the television set to buy heroin. 
Harry. I'm just just doing a couple of uppers to help me wear the red dress. Harry. Okay, what <laughs> What are we doing here? Okay, 85. There used to be an article here, but it's been torn off. Okay. I think we can see that. The bathtub does seem to be full of blood. I guess we'll just ignore that. Okay, 1980. <laughs> it is a better version of Requiem for a Dream. Jennifer Connelly, I know, so good. They're, I mean, that movie has its moments. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a complete Requiem for a Dream hater. Okay, wait, is this the way we originally came? There's no bulletin board. Harry, stop pawning the television. <laughs> Sorry, this is not funny. It's not funny. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're taking this very serious. Okay, it's just a fire hose. That's what the, mis the mystery cabinet is a fire hose. Let's all calm down. <laughs> Year of the glitter child. Okay, let's go into 1980. Let's just dive right in. Okay, we can't we can't do that. 1985 will have to do. Okay, we can't do that either. Um Thanks, Naiveo. Naiveo, sorry. It's my birthday in a couple of days, but thank you so much. <laughs> my birthday is the twenty first. And it's currently the eighteenth. So oh it's only only three days away. Okay. This this store doesn't have a date on it. So we're just gonna have to go gentle into collect the fragments of the past, traverse into a flawless present. Something you used to fit here, but I can't remember what. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Well, we'll just have to collect the fragments of the past. Okay, now the doors are open. Okay, kids, what are we feeling? Do we want to do this in chronological order? We have 1980, we have 1985, we have 1986. Let's do chronological order. Why not? Okay, I'm hearing a tea kettle. I'm sure we're all hearing the tea kettle. Dear God. Okay. Well, stand aside chairs. Because. Hmm. Meat. Wife's notes and to do list. The Jade Emperor deity assigns a pair of household guardians, a husband and a wife demigod couple, to watch over a family's home. Before moving in, a welcoming ceremony must be performed for the guardians to ensure a family's health, fortune, and peace. 5 a.m. Buy at the market fish, chicken, pork belly, blanched, sweet rice bowls, radish, a symbol of luck, soda, rice cake, red envelopes, incense, Spirit money, liquor, rice, wine, three cups filled four fifths of the way, apples for guests, pineapple, ceremony use. It is very carnist. I feel like uh, Chinese cuisine is, tends to be fairly carnist. But that's, I mean, let's be honest, it's in agreement with my sensibilities. 7 a.m. preparation. Clean, spray, yin yang water. Attach red paper to furniture, spread coins in room corners, put tokens in water jug, set up mahjong, prepare oolong tea for aunt, white tea for uncle, herbal tea for grandma, make sweet rice balls for guests, buy all new cooking essentials, must be finished by the afternoon. This sounds stressful as hell. Who's making this woman do this? 
What kind of monster? <laughs> Um, okay. We got a flickering light situation. Let's just go in. Oh god. It's giving me severe flashbacks, kids. I don't know about this. Okay. We made it. Sorry, I'm texting. One second. <laughs> okay. TV. The 80s. Okay, what is going on? They placed a piece of red felt over the keys. Yamaha. Okay. Bathroom locked. Ah. Bedroom. Letter from wife's friend to Li Fang. Are you doing well? I was glad to receive your letter. Your friends in the business were saddened to hear of your decision to leave the movie industry. Remember when we were younger? Us showbiz sisters made a promise to fly high together. But after you started a family, reality cut that dream short. As your good friend, I understand your predicament, and I can't help but guess that your family's decision to sell their ancestral home must merely be a temporary fix to a deeper problem. Please remember that we will always support you no matter what you do. You're welcome to come back to us at any time, and we wish you and your family peace and prosperity. Okay, so we've got some kind of trad wife situation going on, where Li Fong gave up her fucking career for this asshole. <laughs> Who's the screenwriter? A screenwriter that's supposed to be supporting them and um okay the ruby slippers red shoes li fong's red dancing shoes okay yoink uh the final record the title track of the album later lady of the pier it's the theme song for li fong's breakout movie okay Why is there a spy hole? That makes me very nervous. There should not be spy holes in bedrooms, girl. Ah. She can spy on her husband. Oh, space bar to make noise. Oh, where'd the baby? Daddy. Daddy, look at me. Is this giving me very uncomfortable, like paranoia agent vibes? If you know, you know. Oh. Okay. Casual reminder that Feng Yu is an abuser. Thank you is an abuser. Um, okay. Well, that's just a genre convention, so I guess I'm not surprised. My secret... This is my secret hideout. The passwords on my favorite picture. Okay, great. We have no pictures. We have shoes. We have a vinyl record. Okay, bathroom still locked. TV is still creepy. Ah. The flower pot note. You've turned my deepest misery into a comforting flower. That's nice. I do like these stacks of books. I want to have stacks of books. I'm a little concerned about this all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy type crayon scribbling. I'm not sure how I feel about that. In fact, you know what I am sure? I don't feel good about it. I feel that it's a bad sign. I feel that nothing good will come of it. 
But let's do our best to move on. Tale of Sigu, Sigu Guanyin, Spirit Serpent. According to legend, it happened in a small village in southern, in southern Fujian. There once lived a poor farmer whose son was too frail to work in the fields. Instead, he was sent to a Buddhist temple to train as a novice monk. Gradually, he became stronger and occasionally <laughs> journeyed home to assist his father and tend to their crops. One day, while working in the fields, they came upon a massive striped snake. Apprehensive at first, they approached it slowly, but soon came to understand that it bore them no malice. It would drive away pests like insects and mice, guaranteeing the farmer a good harvest for many successive years. Okay. A striped snake. A piano felt. Letter from an old friend. To Mr. Du Feng Yu. Your screenplay, The Lives I've Lived, has been rejected by six directors. May I suggest you drop that fruitless obsession and seriously consider coming up with a new script? If any offense has been taken, I beg your forgiveness. Wishing you the very best, your friend, Ding Huai Dei. Okay, so this guy's script is trash. And he can't move on. So his family's fucked. Because they gave up their jobs. To serve daddy. Well, that's really too bad for them because I feel. <laughs> I feel like this will not end well. I'm pouring some water into a glass because I'm probably should be drinking water. How did he, I do want to know, like, seriously, how did this dude get these awards? Oh, did he imagine the, did he imagine the awards? Are the awards in his imagination? Yeah, <laughs> they definitely. Daddy, chill. Um, guys, that's she does not look very chill. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Thanks, Willow. Recent movie, The Flutter Fluttering Feathers, premieres on big screen. Banned by critics nationwide for being extremely anticlimactic and having a poor script. <laughs> okay, well that's not what a screenwriter needs to hear. Prize the singer retires from spotlight to quote devote life to family. Gong Li Fong says farewell to the entertainment business. Okay. Well, her life is ruined. It's so great. Um, 1985, let's go. Wait, sorry, 85. Good morning, India. Okay, Screen Raider shirt. August 23rd, 1985. Oh, sorry. Alishan Travel Guide. Machines. Machines. No. What happened? Sorry. Holds. Sulking in her room since we can't go on our trip anymore. Could you go and read Machine, her favorite storybook? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Locked suitcase. Okay. Machine's room is down that way. 
but let's oh the trophies are back okay so we're in a future year where his delusions delusions have paid off and we can light candles let's light up every single candle If I miss something, let me know what I missed. There's that fish. Ooh, shrimp. Okay. Poem attached to wine pot. My beloved child, this wine will follow you, sweet and ripe, brewing in the pot. A mother's three blessings. Wishing your silhouette embraced by silk, wishing your hair illuminated by stars, wishing your steps admired by all, as I await patiently, let time mold you into a lustrous jewel. Okay. Wine brew doodles. Drawing by machine based on the wine. My, my wine poem. Okay, so... The screenwriter is now doing poetry. Well, this family is fucked. <laughs> He's a poet. Great. It's a good thing that his wife gave up his career to be with a poet. Shoes, a crown, and a red dress are the basic elements of a superstar. If you say so. Thanks, AG. Oh my god, Spore. Yeah, Brian Eno soundtracked it. I feel like I played Spore when it came out a million years ago. And wasn't it kind of disappointing? Okay, no, we're supposed to read May Mei Shin, a storybook. Okay, well, we're gonna do that. First, we're gonna check what this is. Essay. My family. Do Mei Shin. There are three people in my family, my father, my mother, and I. My mother is a housewife who likes to sing while she is cooking. My mother used to be a famous star. Every song she sings sounds perfect. My father is a screenwriter. He writes a lot of words every day. He often works late, and I can't bother him when he works, or my mother will scold me. Although I am sick and can't go to school often, mom and dad always take care of me at home. My mom says if I get better, I'll be able to play outside more often. I love my mommy and daddy. I wish for us to have a healthy and loving life. Okay. Well. I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay, Meishin, do you want to hear a story? Ceramic doll. Yes, I see, I see that. But I thought we were a crazy person who would read a story to a doll, so I don't really see why that's a problem. Okay, let's find a... Okay. Oh, well. Okay, she's gone now. And now we live in a world of terror. Okay. Let's just make a simple. His face is missing from every fucking portrait. Is this an extension of mirrors not working? A tale of Sigu Guanyin, the sacrifice. Um, okay, let me take a sip and then we're gonna we're gonna go in. However, nothing good lasts forever. One year, the novice monk suddenly fell victim to an illness. It ravaged his body and soul. He could not eat for days. His health declined rapidly, but the village doctors were stumped. The farmers could do nothing but worry endlessly. At this time, the snake abruptly appeared and said to the farmer, 
I am a spirit serpent a thousand years of age. Since your child's birth, I have witnessed his resolve, his great sense of duty and filial piety. His virtuousness outshines even my own. Let me help him through this troublesome bout. Heed my instructions. My flesh and blood, brewed into a medicinal wine, shall remedy his condition instantly. The great spirit serpent delivers a fatal bite unto himself, offering his body to the ever grateful farmer, Sigu Guanyin Legends 16. Okay. It's really valid. Uh, guys, I'm hearing more shaking. Oh shit, sorry, I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't trying to turn that off. Classic unreliable electricity. Machine. Turn that here. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. It's all good. Uh, oh, there she is. School of Correspondence Journal 2. It's very gender. Thursday, June 13th, 1985. It's boring at home. The same stuff keeps playing on TV, but I'm sick, so I can't go to school. I've been to so many doctors that I'm still not feeling well. I have to write in my journal because my classmates do too. Friday, June 14, 1985. Today I have to feed daddy's arowana fish. It must be sad being stuck in its fish tank, just like me and my house. Just like all of us in COVID. Think about that. Aren't we? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Do machine. Okay, so we're in, so let's just, let's just try to understand. <laughs> let's try to understand the situation that we're in here. We appear to be in some kind of fluorescent tube lit terrarium of a dollhouse. Kind of like all of us in society, yes. Okay. The Machine Show. Alarm clock. Machine. It's time to wake up. It's getting super liminal. Do machine. That sounds really hard. Okay, open the door. Television. Harry, stop pawning the television set to my heroine. I don't know why I think this is funny. This is not funny. <laughs> okay. Yes, bring your storybook. That's smart. Disease prevention is a civic duty. Well, that's true. This feels very COVID. Okay, number three, window. Oh, it's an angry cloud. Okay, I hate the key and the marble box. Don't tell mom and dad. We should remember this because it's actually in the rest of the game. Okay, so she has the key. 
Must go and play, must go and... I'll work and no play mix Jackadil boy. Won't eat the vitamins mother's giving her. I always eat the vitamins mother gives me. Okay. This is, um, this dark stuff. Marble, fish eye. Okay, we got a marble fish eye. Great. Uh, the fish has been taking the vitamins. <laughs> uh, let's see. School correspondence journal three. It's the weekend. Dad said that if I took my medicine, he would take me out to play, but he was still he was lying again. I really took my medicine. I was good today, but mom and dad still lied to me. The Sunday, June 16, 1985. Dad bought a bunch of vitamins, but I don't want to take any. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I don't want any vitamins. It doesn't make me better. We were supposed to go out and play, but we didn't. Daddy always lies. I won't take any more. I won't. I won't. I won't. I fucking won't. Okay. Well, that's clear enough. Oh, Mayshin? I'm not even scared of you. I'm kind of more afraid of you. Because you're clearly the victim of the situation. Right? Like, am I supposed to be afraid of this child? I'm not. I'm afraid of the protagonist. Right? Because the protagonist is clearly a piece of shit. <laughs> so, I'm really afraid of this character that we were stuck in the first person of. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Silk, okay, silhouette, hair, steps. Okay. Okay, I've put the shoes into the wine pot. Okay, these things are not. If we are fish and tank is society, then what is child and what are pills? Okay, that's a good question. Why don't we all work on that? Okay, we already looked at this. Okay, we're supposed to, okay. We know what machine, okay, we need to find the wardrobe. Because the wardrobe is what the machine show told us to do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed my head. Oh my god. Bro. Okay. Machine. Okay, put that fisheye marble into your little maze. And I'm so okay. It's gonna take me a minute. It's not that hard. The stars tell you where to go. Okay, hands, dress, microphone. Damn it. There we go. Because I did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> Okay. We opened the box, got the key. Suitcase key. Take. That is, it's ch it is, it is chilling. It's definitely giving, yeah, it's definitely giving Resident Evil E. It's giving the Beneviento house. It's giving, I don't care for this. 
Yeah, not enough vampire mommies. I think we can all agree that most things don't have enough vampire mommies. Wait, okay, suitcase key used. No. Storybook. Flowers in love. Matrian always recommend always requests I read this at her bedtime. Alright. Machine, I have a story to read you. It's time to read you a story. Isn't that relaxing? That's kind of a gone home moment for me. I don't know. Gone home has this kind of creepy. Yeah. Shoo shoo shoo. Baba lay down. Shoo shoo shoo. Today, the forest appeared to be a very big, big tree. The baba's weapon hit the tree with the weight of the tree. The tree was angry. It jumped up and tried to hit the baba with the baba. Fuck. I hate that. After that, the little girl Sasha stayed at home to take care of baba. 但是爸爸的身体总是好痛好痛，帮爸爸擦药、喝汤都没有用。It's a very serious children's book. 躺在床上好多天、好多夜，爸爸的病都好不起来。Working through chronic pain at age eight, it's a lot. 决定要出门寻找治好爸爸。Now the art is so good. The game is looks so beautiful. 莎莎翻山越岭，到了风摇神的宫殿。风摇神的宫殿是一座金色的大房子，在森林的正中央，大门就开着，只要是森林的居民都可以自己进去。莎莎说 ：“Mother， 治好我爸爸的病。”风摇神说 ：“Okay, I mean, she literally found mommy。”神奇的话，只要他盛开，再严重的病痛都会痊愈哦。风摇神给了莎莎一颗种子，但是你得用最珍贵的东西灌溉它。风摇神说 ：“OK, magical seeds。”莎莎心想：“爸爸有说过，全世界最珍贵的神水就在天空树上。”莎莎启程了，她走出风摇神的宫殿。他来到小森林，一路向前。Okay, we're pushing deep into the grove. Okay, I can now play as a storybook character. It is, it is absolutely great. Fun. It is great, very vibes. Okay, apple. The story is failed, Daddy. Trying to rationalize his failure. Yeah, that's definitely true. The chubby bear is hungry. Wants to eat lunch. Okay. Uh. 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 Take the apple. Take the apple. Okay. Okay. The chubby bear is taking the apple. Now we. Okay. I'm just too deep. Uh. I don't know, bear. Get more apples. Damn it. No. I don't want to restart device. Windows, stop updating. God damn you. I know. I would just I would play a complete game that was just this storybook. Okay. Uh, shit. Okay. We need we need to get the bear to cross. I'm sorry.
Yeah, there's another red candle game called Detention, which I've never played. Maybe I'll stream that next. It's really helpful to have a narrator that tells you what to do. I love these like ch like childhood like storybook solutions to these problems. Okay, the bear is going to school. It's fine. We're just not gonna worry about it. No, Shasha's not abusing bears. She's sending it to school. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Two deer fighting in the woods. Shasha is frightened. Okay, we're just gonna ride the mushroom trail. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Sorry. is to sneak past them by impersonating a deer. I'm not sure that makes sense because the deer clearly fight other deer. Like, I feel like, I don't know. It's a good question. Well, you gotta have crayons. You gotta have crayons on hand if you're gonna read a storybook. Otherwise, how are you gonna get out? Okay. The deer are calm. They're sleeping. I'm just gonna sneak past. It's fine. Oh. I like this nighttime. Okay, it's time for. We're just gonna jack in the beanstalk up here. Okay, sagely owl. Cool spirit water. This is very relaxing. Are you guys relaxed? Um, okay, that's not relaxing. Okay, feeding the baby bird. Look at this giant like acorn that's as big as my head. <laughs> Aha. I've got you foolish centipede. <laughs> Distracted successfully. Some of way. Sensory Jin and Zaljo eating candy all. 
，没有最珍贵的水，就没有办法让花开了。All right, fine. 爸爸不忍心看莎莎这么难过， Daddy. 把她叫来床边，告诉她：“没事了，没事了，爸爸只是要睡着了。Oh, ” God， 只要你好好的，爸爸什么都不怕。This is a sad book for children. Like I am, like I am gripped by this story. 嫩芽长出枝叶，枝叶开出花苞，花苞绽放成一朵美丽的郁金香。原来，女儿就是她最珍贵的东西。爸爸的病好了。为了感谢风饶神，父女两人一起把花种到土里。山坡上开了好多好多的郁金香，风饶神也好开心。从此以后，莎莎和爸爸一起照顾这片花海，永远开开心心的生活在一起。Okay, we have to plant a tulip. Origami tulip. A lot of children's stories are very sad. Why are children's stories like this? Are children masochists? Are children do children appreciate like Aristotelian catharsis? Like, what what is going on with children? Can someone explain children to me? Do they enjoy pain? Do they enjoy joy sorrow? Are they more sophisticated than we think? And they somehow can only believe a story if it contains serious suffering, because that's okay. Yeah, where is the mommy in this story? That's a good question. Well, well, the mommy I feel like is the fertility goddess, right? I know. It is like very jarring to return to this like PT horror game after having been in like this kind of uh... I can't remember the name of the game I'm thinking of, but this like storybook world. Okay, I got nothing. We gotta plant this tulip, kid. I think we have to go back to 1980 to plant the tulip. I mean, I get that it's the art equals suffering pipeline, but how do children like? When do children start with this art as suffering stuff? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that feels like a very adult mindset. I don't know. Maybe children are just tiny adults. Who knows? Who knows what's really going on with them? Okay, here we go. There's a fertile soil. Is that full of needles? Okay, tulip planted. I know, Stardew Valley, it's been a while. Hope it blossoms beautifully in the future. You know, I'm sure it will. <sighs> I've never played Broken Age. Yeah, if you guys can recommend any other games that have this kind of like feel to them, definitely recommend them to me, and I will play them. This is kind of my I don't know. This is my vibe. I'm into this. Mom, it's me. Okay. I really did not need to sign up for domestic abuse simulator. Mother-in-law's letter. 
to my beloved daughter Li Fang. Thanks, high class lady. I have played a piano with two keyboards. Not a piano. I've played a Hammond electric organ. But that's the only kind of keyboard with two keyboards I've played. I really would love to play a pipe organ. Oda, a um, harpsichord. We could do Edith Finch next, if that's what you guys are into. Marriage is a process of growth and learning. Disputes between husband and wife are inevitable. Your father and I have also walked this path. Life can be messy, relationships erratic, but with old age, you begin to foster acceptance. If you choose to leave and come home, however, word will certainly get around. As a celebrity, no doubt you know how damaging gossip can be. Your child is still young and needs to have a proper family. I urge you to reconsider your rash decision and think of her well-being. I know he can be stubborn sometimes, but you don't have to clash with him on every little thing. Let bedroom quarrels stay in the bedroom. Minor disputes can always be taken care of civilly, out of sight. Take care of yourself, mom. Okay, mom. I feel like mom is being the enforcer of the patriarchy. That's just my feeling, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, it's literally, I should forgive him. I know that he's difficult, but, you know, it was the same with your father. I don't know. I don't think this is good advice. But what do you guys think? I'm drinking water. <laughs> but see, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm finding it hard to be, af like, afraid. I feel like I can't genuinely get afraid of this wife. Because I feel like she should get him. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, she should... She should get him with a butcher knife. Because he sucks. Like, this guy... This guy whose body that we are stuck inside of... He's trash. Like, his screenwriting is bad. He made his wife give up her career. Like, this guy is... This guy sucks. <laughs> but, okay, whatever. Um... How, how are we doing on time? Okay, 1986 has zero articles. 1980 is looking mostly complete. Let's, let's, let's maybe give 1986 a try. 1986, very good year. Almost as old as I am. In fact, it's older than I am. I do like to play a game that takes place before I was born. It makes me feel young. <laughs> Instead of feeling like a very old vampire, which is how I usually feel. Okay. Well, cute string lights. A shame this shot didn't come out. I wish I could have retaken it. Wait, it's our daughter. Thanks, Rina. I would absolutely play a student horror game. Yes, you just sent it to me. Wait, Lady of, okay, so Lady of the Pier was her mother's song, right? So these parents, these parents have like transferred all their hopes and dreams onto their tiny baby daughter. I hate that. Wait, is there Siu Guan Yin? Okay, it's on it's on loop. 
Okay, camera, single lens that replaced the uh, swanky 20-year-old classic model that replaced the Polaroid. The photo did not come out well. Yeah, you should have retaken it. Tale of Sigu Guanyin, a sentence. The farmer turned the snake's body into a medicinal wine. Here we talk, okay, what is Sigu Guanyin? Guanyin is like a, because in like Buddhism, like Guanyin is like a bodhisattva, right? And then Chinese people just decided they really loved Guanyin. <laughs> and they made her into, like, first of all, a trans icon, a woman. And also, Guanyin is like, I don't know, I feel like, like there's there's so many like Chinese like statues of Guanyin. She's kind of like a like a Mother Mary archetype. What is si, what is Sigu Guanyin? What do, what does this mean? Can someone explain this? <laughs> the farmer turned the snake's body into a medicinal wine as directed by the serpent. As soon as he drank the medicine, the novice monk recovered completely. At this time. Sigu Guanyin descended upon the countryside. Sigu Guanyin had sensed that the spirit serpent's virtue has sensed the spirit serpent's virtuous deed. Though it was a mere beast, Sigu Guanyin was impressed by the serpent's ultimate sacrifice, and so bestowed upon the serpent of the title of guardian. Sigu Guanyin is a made-up spin-off of Guanyin. Okay. Got it. Henceforth, whenever Sigu Guanyin helped the denizens of the world. The striped serp, spirit serpent always followed close behind. Sigu Guanyin, Legends 17. The story is rec recorded in the Sigu Legends chapter of the Sigu Sutras. Many believers have professed to, to seeing a figure of a snake accompanying all appearances of Sigu Guanyin. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to understand the mythos of the story. I, I like this game because I feel like Zigu is a Chinese god of toilets, apparently. So, so Zigu Guanyin is like a hybrid of Guanyin and the toilets got it. Okay, this might be too much for me. <laughs> I mean, I feel like religion is so essential to understanding horror. It's kind of cool because like most I feel like so much of like Western horror franchises, like they kind of like play around with Christian Christian ideas. And I feel like this game is playing around with like Buddhist or like kind of Chinese like folk religion ideas in a way that's very interesting to, to me. Okay, so daddy entered a cult. Well, isn't that exactly what this kind of guy would do? Thanks, Louise. Detention. Okay, maybe we'll play detention next. Ooh, that sounds fun. I mean, I'm into this, so I'll probably be into detention. Essay, my dream. My dream, Dumation. My dream is to become a child star because my mom is a superstar. Oh, God. This child is fucked. Um, Siku in Chinese means compassion to the orphans. Um, my dream is to become a child star. Okay. When she sings, I sing along and daddy and mommy say I sing very well. I hope I can sing to everyone on TV one day. So I go to singing class every week. I often participate in singing competitions. My father says, as long as I work hard, everyone will be able to hear me sing. I also want to go out and play with my parents. They are always so busy every day. When I grow up, I will take them out for fun all the time.
This poor child. I want to be this child's child, but I do not want to be this child. Um, okay, thoughts? Oh god. Okay. Cheap It's homework horror. Guys, it's doing your homework, but it's horror. Which was always doing your homework, right? It's doing your homework while your parents are fighting. It's like mid-divorce and you're trying to focus on your fucking math homework. This is pretty real. This is pretty real stuff. Oh, calm self. Okay, space bar to calm self. Okay, we got it. It's fine. It's fine. We got the marbles. The fish eyes were just, we're just <laughs> Oh, okay. It's very gender. It's getting very gender. I know. It's just a game about reality. <laughs> Yeah, definitely don't go into showbiz. Do not become a performer or some kind of, I don't know, YouTuber. Definitely don't do that. Oh my god. It is flop dad. It's flop dad. It's very gender. It's okay. It's marble stimming. Marble stimming. Marble st marble stimming simulator parents divorce. That was way too realistic of a divorce simulator. Wow. I hate, I hate it when my father has given away all my fucking money to see Guanyin. <laughs> Don't you hate when that <laughs> Don't you hate it when daddy gave all the fucking money to see Guanyin? I fucking hate that. And then mom doesn't have a career because dad's too insecure. And like, he's got some weird kind of masculinity complex. And we're sitting here trying to do our fucking third grade math homework. Oh my god. Where's my marbles? I need to smash them together. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna find them. We're gonna find the marbles. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Wait, what? Level? Shining star Kiki, connect the dots. Kiki has her crown. Shoes and red dress. She's ready to shine on stage. I hate being trapped in the body of an asshole. I feel like these games are always trapping us in the body of, the, of an asshole. Okay, wait, record player. Okay, we know what to do with this. We've been hanging on to this vinyl forever. No, this game is basically generational trauma, the game. Isn't that fun? Isn't it fun that your parents fucked you up? And that you will also fuck up your own children? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're having- guys, we're having fun. This is very fun. It's all just very fun and normal. Harry. Stop pawning the television set to buy heroin. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. 
I don't care for that. Ah, the crown. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh. That is a good hallway. Okay, does this remind anyone else of Paprika when they go into the trap door in the closet of, um, and like they're walking through this hallway that has like paintings of butterflies on the walls? It reminds me of that hallway. Thanks, Pinhead. Yeah, why don't I play? I don't play happy games. I only play trauma games. Ugh, it's so good. Sheep Pao dress. Lin Li Fang's famous red sheep Pao dress from when she was popular. It's been sliced and torn. Okay, okay we we'll watch. Let's just watch the trauma vision. It is like the auto bar after hours. It actually, um, it reminds me of the, the crown, like the upstairs bathroom at the crown. Baltimore people know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's number one. Praise the Sigu Guanyin. Thanks, Kenwood. Thanks, Hudson. If your therapist if your therapist digs deep enough, every every game is trauma game. Yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. Frogger, trauma game. Pokemon, trauma game. 3D space pinball. I mean, honestly, the most trauma game of all. God, the 80s. What a time. Mission is getting tall. She's becoming a gira giraffe. I love I love my giraffe child. Well, I don't know. I feel like Pokemon like perfectly combines like so many different things that children enjoy. Like the co like the collecting. Okay, Mation's turn to perform her song. Okay. This is normal. This is fine. Okay. Well. Eight. Eight. They're all eight. Or is it an infinity sign? Okay, let's go back to 1980 because we gotta put the we have to put the crown into the wine pot. Oh, wait, we have the crown and the dress. Okay, let's go. We're like we're like ready. We're ready for this. Year of the monkey, here we come. Oh, here we have to put this camera. The camera is on the tripod. Eight, as in she ate that performance. True. Machine. Okay. 
Oh, she's doing happy birthday. No, wait, she's doing home sweet home. Oh God, this is this is my childhood because I was a, I was like a piano kid. Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm sure this photo will bring back good memories someday. I'm sure it fucking will. Sure. Sure it will. Okay, but we'll check that photo later. We got the tulip. Now it is a simple question. I know. I hate that she plays piano with one finger. Like... Okay, no, we're not ready for this. Look, guys, it's hard to be a girl who's not gifted, okay? That's what the horror of this game is. <laughs> the piano kid chugs, chugs red wine. I did have, like... Guys, can we talk about, like, piano trauma? Like, I love the piano as an instrument, but so many fucking piano teachers are, like, insane disciplinarians. Like, I've talked to so many people, and like, piano has been ruined by them, by their crazy, like, authoritarian teacher. And like, okay, we're in Taipei. Husband's career is in the dumps, but he still spends like he's made of money, and he's like a king. He's always dreaming that. Okay, so she's talking about the protagonist. <laughs> Imagine like listening to a column. And your wife is just complaining about you, and you're like, this is fine. <laughs> I'm not the problem here. <laughs> He's trying to flaunt his new house to friends and family. It's past midnight. He's sleeping like a baby while you're still stuck in that cramped kitchen. Yeah, don't be a trad wife, kids. Just don't do it. It's going to end like this. This is it. What you're looking at, this is trad wife lifestyle. In reality, it's this. It's complaining in to radio talk shows with your hands in a fucking dank ass sink at midnight while your husband's fucking sleeping. Just don't do it. Just say no. Just say no. Okay, um, what are we doing? We are... Mm. It's a heterosexuality simulator. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I know, guys, I know it's tempting to be a trad wife because, like, who wants to be in charge of their own life, right? Right? Like, obviously, no one wants that. It sucks. Freedom is terrible. No one wants to be free. But ultimately, like, freedom is the best kind of terror there is. You know, because it's like freedom is the terror that you, of being in control. Whereas every other like infant infantilizing fantasy that you may have of submitting to a god slash husband is going to be a kind of terror where you're not in control. And I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, do what you want. You're condemned to be free. Make your little choices. <laughs> These are just my two cents. <laughs> okay, we are now in truly the most liminal hallway of all time. Okay, 
睡觉的时候，他一句一句的念给我听。我还在上面乱画，把故事改得很好笑，好好玩。爸爸教我折故事里的那种花，色纸用完了，我们就拿爸爸不要的稿纸来用。一开始折得很丑，可是爸爸很认真教我，真的好开心。而且，折了很多魔法的郁金香后。我的呼吸就变得很顺，真的好神奇哟、哦！我偷偷把最漂亮的一朵藏在书里面，这样小草念故事的时候，爸爸就会看到了。I mean, I think so. Like, I feel like the chat is like pushing back against me on this whole freedom thing. Like, I feel like it's maybe possible to integrate a kind of like deliberate unfreedom. Into an authentic life to get all existentialist on you, but like my brain is not big enough for this tonight. It's time to think about tulips and music boxes. We're not going to think about freedom anymore because freedom sucks. I guess I don't even believe the things that I'm saying. Just ignore. Just, just sh I'm just going to stop talking. And we're just gonna focus on the game. Yeah, no philosophy. I sh. I agree. No, no, no. Philosophy is banned. Okay, guys. From now on, there's a no philosophy rule that we're going to enforce. Script. Tulip. In the faint candlelight, the husband sits disheartened at his writing desk. Husband, monologue. Thanks, high class lady. Ugh, oh, I can't think of anything. Am I reaching the limits of my creativity? Close up. Outside the room, the child sits on the floor, fiddling with a piece of paper. The husband glances over and notices that it's one of his rejected scripts. Husband, angry. Hey, put that down this instant. The husband rushes forward, grabs the paper, and finds it has been folded into a flower. Child, father, look, I made this tulip for you. With mixed feelings, the husband takes the paper flower. These papers that were despised by the world were treasures in the eyes of his child. Okay, I feel like I feel like the screenwriting is improving slightly. Okay, carved relief fragment two. You ink. Shh, no philosophizing allowed. Shh, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Okay, this door is locked. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any ideas about where to go next? Okay, let's see what items we have. Okay, we gotta put the dress and the crown into the wine pot. I know that. There is no way to run in this game, by the way. I'm not walking because I'm trying to annoy you. It's just that there is no such thing as running. Okay, we've made a wrong turn. I don't think we can go to the tulip pot here. Sorry, the wine pot. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, silhouette, hair. Your steps admired by all. Okay, crown. Dress. Dress, crown, shoes. Into the wine pot it goes. Looking forward to the day when I can open it. All right, weirdo. Let's, uh... What do you guys think? Should we just go out this way? Should we check back? 
I think we should probably just go out, right? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going back. Shh. What are you guys talking about? I love I love a good shoe wine. I love a good shoe wine. I love a good dress wine. <laughs> oh, it's like a, a little carousel thing. We. Oh god, a letter to school. To school dean, on the issue of my child Dumaishin's frequent non-attendance, I reiterate that my intentions are not to disrupt the school trip arrangements. As her contest date nears, we've had to step up the amount of training she's receiving. I've no doubt you've witnessed her exceptional talent and charm on TV. <laughs> Oh my god, this fucking parent. These attributes must be properly cultivated and developed. Every single minute of training is crucial to her growth. Her health and mental well-being is also of great importance. The cold front comes in along the shore this time of year. Thanks, Kenwood. That is the best, biggest appeal. Yeah, it's tough. Thanks, Josh. Agree. Harry, stop pawning. Stop pawning the television. Um, these attributes must be called. Mm -hmm. The cold front comes in along the shore around this time of year. Machine is prone to illness and will not risk any setbacks to her competitive readiness. She's like Dennis Reynolds training the gang for boys to men. <laughs> I'm positive you wouldn't want to see that happen. Thus, just as before, I'll have to withdraw her attendance from this trip. Rest assured, I will arrange a separate educational outing at another time. I'm confident there are comparable trips we can go on that will be both instructive and fun for her. Please be understanding and considerate of Machine's particular needs. Okay. With sincerity, Du Feng Yu. Okay. Uh... I feel like we did, we did 1980, we did 1985. Oh, let's, let's look at these. Let's look at the 1985 news articles. You know what I'm seeing? Wine, the essence of earth and water. As it circulates within, your chi is connected, your body warmed, the chill forced out. Daily dexterity, origami tulips. Okay. Friday science tip, Dr. Shin Hong's column, melancholy is a precursor to anxiety. Sudden changes in living environment can exacerbate condition. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to the fucking dark side. All right, let's go. 1986. It is just science. Former star Li Fong's progeny out of luck. Child star Du Mei Xin loses winning streak, drops out of Sunday showing. Viewers concerned about Mei Xin's future prospects. Well, isn't she like nine years old? I wouldn't be that concerned. Lovers quarrel. Inside Du Feng Yu and Gong Li Fang, the rocky relationship, personal lives clash, each cited at multiple events alone. Okay. They're in the tabloids. Don't be famous, just don't do it. Okay, wine pots, wine pots everywhere. Let's go. For the love of God, Monsignor. 
，越想越紧张，然后就会跟以前一样，头好痛，不能呼吸，一直发抖和咳嗽。好久没有这样了，不知道为什么。明明同学大家都好好的，但我就会想很多。Guys, do you want to retrieve that cask of Amontillado for me? Just go down to the basement, please. Uh, okay, we've got a we've got a striped. The striped serpent is definitely is definitely Sigu Guan Yin, right? Okay. Guys, check it out. It's the wine snake. I love the wine snake. I love the wine snake. Oh. Yes. Lock him in. Lock him in. The snake is one. Oh. The snake is one hundred percent full of wine. Okay. Script six. Oh my god, dude. Are you still doing this? You're still doing scripts. Okay. Love makes a family. Wife, sweetheart, you are our treasure. You must realize mother and father have staked our future on you. When we are old and can no longer walk, you will be there for us, right? Understood, mother. Close up. View of the wife's ornamental crest, silk garb, and gilded shoes. Wife, promise mother that you will achieve renown, and these valuable items will be yours. Thank you, mother. I promise I will not take your wish lightly. When I grow up, I will give back what is due and more. You will live a life of abundance. The wife is very pleased. She believes the struggle and effort poured into the past years will be worth it in the end. <sighs> this child. This child. It, it is a lot to like, place on the on the shoulders of a nine year old. For my birthday this year, Mei Xun played Home Sweet Home. The date at the bottom reads 07 16. Okay, everyone. Everyone copy that down 07 16. 07 16. 18 did not win because she did not win by one point. Hate that. It's my least favorite show. I don't care for it. I won't stand for it. Okay. We did this. A Oh. Normal? This is fine. It was that. She's one of the dolls. Okay. 
guys, obviously, obviously I'm reporting all of this to the trolls. Don't you worry. Okay, we've got some 1986 articles to read. Okay, we saw that. Lover's Quarrel. Article submission. Smiling under the lamb. Text to Fengu. Okay. Okay. Wait, how many fragments do we have? Okay, we have we have two fragments. We're missing one. Um Okay, any thoughts about which year I should go to? I feel like it's 1980, right? Because there's still one there's still some fragments. There's still some like news articles missing. Let's do it. Okay, but what am I forgetting? We can't go to 2022. We have to only be in 1980? Oh wait, oh, 07, 16. 07, 16. Got it. <laughs> Do you have a memory still? Oh god. <laughs> uh guys, guys we're crawling. We're a baby. Wah, I'm a baby. Wah. Ooh, it's a a lion. An abacus, an acupuncture needle, a mirror. Okay. It's hard to be baby. <laughs> I don't like being baby. This honestly does like it. It really does feel like a baby nightmare. Like. I feel like I'm a baby having a nightmare. Like, cause you have nightmares when you're a baby. Like, I actually remember some of them. Okay, thanks Kenwood. Uh, in the wardrobe, singing is just for you. What is it about wardrobes and children's stories? Like, wardrobes are very magical to children. Was it father? It was definitely father. Okay, we're at, yeah, we're at fourth hand trauma. The trauma levels are multiplying. Birthday grab. Season seven, mountain path, exterior. Hearing news of the child's first birthday, distant friends and relatives comes to celebrate. When you mature, you'll definitely be accomplished. You can become an imperial official, or you can be a merchant. Being a doctor is good. How about a general? You'll be prosperous, gain notoriety, acquire prestige. And they all take turns to touch the child's head as a blessing of luck, as a token of safety. Which kind of genius will you be, baby? It's your job to be a genius as a baby. Get to work. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's take this fragment and let's uh, got that fucking wall wall hole. I don't care for it. I don't like it. Nothing else in this room. I think it's time for the future.
Okay, it's time. No, it's time to go into the glorious future and meet our genius child. Our merchant, doctor, lawyer, general, statesman, baby. <laughs> We have all three fragments, right? So it's time for the the mystery door. The door that is a mystery day. Oh God. Flickering light. I don't care for that. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. We're in, we're in some kind of psychedelic loop situation. We're in a psychedelic loop situation. I don't know. I don't like this. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Okay, run, 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 run. She's, she's coming after me. Nope. <laughs> Don't care for that. Nar. Nar. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can, guys. <laughs> I, I, I just. We're clearly going in circles. Like we've been through that door bef before. Oh shit. The doors are, guys, the doors are already open. Okay, any plan? Okay, new door, new door. No, I know, I know we're going in circles. Okay, this way. Okay, closed doors. We're scared. We are all scared. Everyone is scared here. We. <sighs> okay, new, new space, new space, new space. Okay, elevator. Elevators are never creepy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I. Guys. <laughs> nope. Did fine. It's liminal. Oh, it's Sigu Guanyin. It's fine. Okay, 
。是啊，谢谢刘大哥。国民女星回来了，这可真是个大消息。我相信听众朋友们一定都非常的开心，大家都非常的想念。Okay, any ideas? Any ideas how to get out of this liminal elevator? Oh, the wife.、Um, She's gone back. She's decided to stop being a trad wife. Yeah. It's probably truly fun. Typing nine one one did not work. Okay. 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 So husband is obsessed with Guan Yin. Mission is attached to Daddy. He constantly tries. Okay. She's choosing career because her husband sucks. Well, that's probably a good choice. Okay. Well, that's fine. Because he still has Guan Yin, Sigu Guan Yin, to be specific. Oh, the lighter isn't needed here. Are you sure, game? Are you sure the lighter isn't needed here? Because seems like the lighter might be needed here. <laughs> I don't know, just a hunch. Du Feng Yu. Hmm. I'm so happy that our family has a simple, happy face. Was that ever real, though? She's leaving. I mean, good, <laughs> right? <laughs> We should have sung better. That's true. That's the real problem. Fragments. Oh. What is that knife sound that I'm hearing? Okay. Okay. Are we on? Are we on the alternate reality where Mei Xin is a child star? Parents who pressure their kids to piano should have piano. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Maybe she's singing. She's singing better now because she's hoping that mommy will come back. Ooh, the ceiling fan is turning on. You guys saw that, right? Thanks, Kenwood. Thanks, Fab Donk. Three fourteen-hour days in a row—that is horrible. Congrats on having at least a moment away. Oof. Okay. 
Yeah, no philosophy allowed. We've banned it. Should I just back into the void? Okay, no. There's a there's a limit to the void. Let's uh go. There she is. It's super liminal. Mason. God. <laughs> oh, God. It's time for exams. The bloody, it's the bloody piano keys for me. Medical order, patient's x-ray and blood work analysis normal, no physical ailments observed. Recommended referral to psychiatric department. Oh no. He doesn't believe in psychiatry. But you know what he does believe in? The Guan Yin. Do residents. Guys, don't worry. Surely this cold will solve all of our problems. Recover her soul from what, dude? What did you do? <laughs> oh, the candle. This is where we got the lighter. We're seeing in Shroom Vision. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Any sign of mission? Okay. Oh, God. 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 Oh, 
He's he, he's literally just in the apartment building, but tripping, right? Because we know these stairs. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, like if I eat too much of an edible and. I walk out into like a flickering light bulb hallway. This is how it feels. I love how you guys are tweeting. <laughs> you guys are, are tweeting. Sorry, you're commenting cheese for singles in our area. Okay. How's that working? Is Siku Guanyin leading? I guess there is. There is absolutely too much of an edible, and we're looking at it. Are you kidding me? An edible simulator. Oh, that is a liminal lamppost. A liminal lamppost edible simulator. <laughs> this was absolutely pandemic day 247. I remember this. I remember this specific day of the pandemic. I do. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I have to pee. <laughs> I'll be back in two minutes, I promise. This will be fast. Okay, okay. It'll be more fun this way. I'm back. Okay, back to shroom vision. Okay. 
It's time to cross the liminal bridge. Thanks, Smitty. Okay, pay no, pay no heed to the souls of the undead. It's fine. It's fine. It is an archway. Super true. I humbly invoke Stigu Guan Yu. Descend upon this world in all your glory. Guan Yin Sigu. I humbly invoke you. Descend upon this world in all your glory. No, we. This is like it's literally edible hell. Like we took we took too many edibles, and this is where people who take too many edibles end up. Thanks, high class lady. No worries, I don't, wasn't even paying attention. Favorite full slash Halloween tradition? Well, I guess increasingly it's me playing horror games. Because it is a fun tradition. I'm enjoying this. Guys, we gotta decide what I'm playing next. Because I'm, I'm getting close to the end of this. Should I play Discipline? And Punish? Very bad selfie trip. I don't care for it. I should have more. I should have read more Airwood Vault reports before doing this. Oh, Edith Finch. I do have that on my computer already, so that would be a, that would be an easy one. I feel like we did try to we tried to play Amnesia last year, but I was like, I was very drunk that night, and we were kind of like not up for the. <laughs> We were kind of not up for it. Okay, guys. Proceeding into the inner depth of RPA. Oh, God. The fountain. That. We're in, we're, in, we're in screenwriter's hell. We're in the screenwriter layer of hell. <laughs> That's here we are. Okay. We got Doki Doki with the Outlast music. No, I really should give Doki Doki a proper chance. I do feel like I didn't do that correctly. I love the cave of self loathing. Okay, what it, there's like a real door and then there's like the broken door. Okay. So you're saying don't go the broken way? Okay. Wait, is there really a game called Mortuary Assistant? Oh god, look at that shroom. That got, that got really shroomy. Hey. 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 
，那女孩好喜欢那朵花，天天盯着它看。It's fine. 每次掉了一片花瓣， It's normal. 她就拔自己的指甲去重新完美它。花黄了，枯了，她就拿自己的血来浇。终于让小花开花结果。After I finish this game, I'm going to Google mortuaries and, and see if I actually want to stream. 可是我告诉你，小花终究是小花。结了果以后，它承受不了重量，终于还是被压死。很遗憾吧。但我们都是作者，不是吗？现在还有机会救他，去吧，就在前面，去挽回你的希望。Aren't you excited to get what we deserve? <laughs> This character deserves so much. I mean, that is really just. Why is every game we play on this channel a Freud simulator? Like. I feel like every game we play is like daddy issues or mommy issues. The game, the chant mantra. Oh, it's working. Okay, everyone. If you have water, you should drink some water. Let's drink some water. There she is. Let's go. Oh, lotus flower. Oh, are we dead? But the truth is that he does keep getting away with this, and at this point, I think we need to all accept that. Don't you just want to get inside that lotus flower? <laughs> what, could, what could go wrong? Oh, it's just a spoon. Okay, Oedipus. I mean, it's Oedipus. Were we not just talking about fucking Freud? No. No. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. It's just the sacrifice of one eye. It's fine. It's fine. I feel like you should really use a grapefruit spoon. <laughs> a spoon for that? Okay. Out vile jelly. Life could be a dream. 
Mm, it's true. Yeah, it's a good thing my third eye is open, because the second eye is not opening up again. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks, Samuel. Ooh. What do you think this tool is for? <laughs> it's 100% it's the dick top chopping tool. Going with the Freudian theme. I mean, Freud says that blindness is like a castration symbol. So, I feel like, uh... Nar. Nar. Okay. Well, as we all know, there's only one way to free people from the cycle of karma. Okay, this is definitely not a castration image. Keep that in mind. Care for that? <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's fine. It's fine. <gasps> okay. Okay. Fine. It's fine. No. <laughs> Guys, I love Castration Simulator. <laughs> it's my favorite game. <laughs> okay, the scissors. Well... Nothing bad could come from this. Thanks, Kenwood. Ready? Get set. And... I really do wish that it was literally just cutting off his dick. <laughs> like, I, w I would rather just play a castration simulator. <sighs> Men would literally rather sacrifice their blood to Zigu Guanyin than go to therapy. That's the game we're watching. Okay, bro, get into that lotus flower and just... Just get in there, you know what I'm saying? No, he's comp he's absolutely into it. Look at him. Like, this is the shit that he's into. Yeah, I'm not sure he really cut his tongue out because he is still talking. So I feel like maybe that was more of a, a metaphor, you know, a symbol, something along those lines. It could also be his voice in his head, that's true. Okay, back in the apartment. Guanling Rite, spiritual linking. The Guanling Rite is a ritual that has been passed down for centuries. With the guidance of the spirit medium, it is possible to chant an incantation and enter the spirit realm. The Yuan Chen Palace resides in a person's inner conscience. By observing their own Yuan Chen Palace, 
one can balance their soul, strengthen their aura, and then predict and shape their fate. To initiate the Guan Ling Rite, one must first write down their address and horoscope. The spirit medium will answer any questions and guide the host to their intended answer. Common questions include asking about one's career, fortune, and health. If someone's seriously ill, they can also ask for healing and recovery. What about castration? <laughs> Thanks, Cyrus. Okay. All right, castration simulator level two. Let's go. Thanks, Hudson. Ooh, I like what we're doing with this. Well, I don't know if I like this. Ooh, tape. Ritual consultation notes. Seeking a sandbank related to water, lotus, linking the subject to the souls of the underworld. Seeking the lotus, seeing the lotus sink under the water, the subject must be immersed in liquid. Offering blood in a bowl equals pour the wine into a container. No water. Okay, so this was really like a dream. I think. Or some kind of vision. Wine warms the body, forces out the cold. A wine bath is good for the body. Bathing in the brew promotes medicinal effectiveness, allowing it to flow through the meridian system. Zigu Wanyan will send the spirit serpent into the body of all who bathe in his wine, subreading its power to heal all physical ailments. Suggested ritual steps. The invoker covers his eyes with a red cloth, which lets him connect to his soul to the spirit world. Check. Prepare a bottle of pure wine. Do not mix with water. Sorghum based liquors are optimal. A check. Place spirit serpent inside check. The invoker offers up his blood in a container, a soul for a soul check. Place subject in container check. Subject leaves container anew. Kneel and pray to show gratitude to Zigu Guanyin. Subject will depart container alone when fully recovered. Nobody under any circumstances shall interrupt the ritual. Some restrictions reply. Results may vary. Okay. Ooh, consultation recordings. All right, kids, let's do this. Okay, a classic son failed entrance exams problem. It's probably fine, right? Everything's fine. I've been chanting the mantra. Wait, is this his mom? Oh, God. Right. Cement mixer simulator. Okay, I'll add to the list. Okay. What did we just do to our daughter? Is our daughter in the wine pot? Or is it just the dress, the crown, and the shoes? What's in the wine pot? What's in the box? I guess, okay. I guess maybe we'll find out. Can't wait. It's 
that's fine. Nar. Uh, Nar. Oh, fuck. I don't have the later anymore. Guys, we're about to drink up a warm, refl refreshing glass of child wine. Okay, can't go this way. Can only go down this one hallway. Mmm, snake wine. So, this guy found a new mommy slash wife in Zigu Guanyin, and now he's just taking orders. So now he's the trap. <laughs> No, he, he's the sub. Okay, no philosophy. Zero philosophy allowed. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the child is in fact being turned into, into wine. Yeah, call Lady Bathory. That's true. She could give good advice on bathing in blood. I've never heard of scorn. That does sound cool. Okay. Back to the old apartment. We now recognize the Zigu Guanyin's shrine. And this sweet little drawing. What did you do? You guys, are you, can, can, are you excited? Are you excited to taste the first batch of child wine? Okay, well, we can't go in here because it's full of trash bags. God, this man's life has truly become shit since the divorce. This is not... Okay, she's in the bathtub. I understand. In the tulip room. Uh, it does seem like a kind of liquid is seeping <laughs> out of the bathroom and someone is burning incense. It's super fucking liminal. Okay, that's the paper tulip. Bringing the paper tulip to Squidward. They're in a cult. They're in a cult. Alone. 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 Raho, 
，我好喜欢那个时候。I'm literally, I'm literally tiptoeing for the tulips. <laughs> Cellophane flowers. <laughs> It's Lucy in the sky with diamonds. So, so Mation is in the bath of wine. Is that correct? It is kind of a dark game. The music is so good. <laughs> so good. So good. By home, you do mean a bathtub full of wine, correct? <laughs> Sorry. Just, just girly things. Yeah, that's type your ideal punchline to this game. Oof. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's sad. <laughs> All current game developers are just global millennials working out their generational trauma. Yeah, that would appear to be the case, Curtis. Okay. 
Guys, as much as I am, I'm like very tempted to like, I'm like, let's download the next game. Let's get open another bottle of wine. Let's keep going. I'm trying to decide if I should actually do that or if I should go to bed. But you know what? Let's take a five. Let's think about it. And then I will be right back. And either we'll end the stream or we'll make reckless decisions. <laughs> If this is the end, thank you so much for watching. If it isn't, thank you so much for being reckless. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, I should probably go to sleep. <laughs> um, this was fun. Let's do another stream. Maybe we can do another stream later this week since we're doing our Halloween horror streaming season. Leave a comment if you have ideas for games. That would be good. And I will see you again soon.
Good night. Illy.